Welcome to 60 Days in the Aftermath. I'm Dan Abrams. We just wrapped up season six of 60 Days in, or another Why round of like from the participants crib? fought to survive <laughs> Why what may like have been from the, the crib? toughest jail we've seen in six seasons. Crib keeper. Tonight we'll talk to all the participants who went undercover to investigate the Etowah County Detention Center and hear why this facility was so difficult and led to oh. more tap outs than any other season. But before we get to that, let's meet our panel. I'd like to welcome Sheriff Jonathan Horton and Chief Keith Peak from oh, the sure. Etowah County Detention Center. Gentlemen, good to have you here. Good to be here. And good to have all of our participants, Alex, Shanice, Tony, Ashley, Dennis, and Jennifer. The women and the men have not met each other before, there but go. something she, that's maybe Jennifer. even a little more striking, Dennis and Alex, are you surprised to see Tony here? I'm not surprised at all. You're not? Nah. <laughs> you knew? I knew from the jump. That, that, that Tony had been put yeah. in there as a plant? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I figured that out from the jump. Did you know? I only knew because Dennis was like, yo, on the low. <laughs> yeah, really. I can't Why tell you who, but... Why does from Mad Magazine, like, man? Really? I, 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 had to make, I, had, I had to make Alex aware, you know, like, of what? his surroundings. <laughs> and uh, for the women, how is it all to be back together? It's bringing back memories. It's yeah. bringing back a lot of memories and... Um, you know, just excited to be here and relive what, know what happened. Talking about. There's no surprise lady gonna walk out. No, no. <laughs> okay. yeah, 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 yeah. All right. <laughs> I think for me, I anticipated that I was gonna have issues with the inmates, not the correctional officers. You mean there were the times food? that the inmates gathered together and not fed me because I can't eat certain things. And so I wasn't expecting the inmates to really have my back and for me to miss them when I left. I told my father, I was like, yeah, I miss them. He's like, you don't miss no inmates. They're, they're criminals. And I'm like, no, they're real people. They just made mistakes. Mm -hmm. Was this harder than you expected? Yes. Like everybody said, it was not the inmates that bothered me. I love the inmates. I pray for them all the time. It was heartbreaking to see what these inmates had to deal with. And I felt completely helpless because there was nothing that I could do. All right, so Dennis, let's talk about your story. Uh, tell us, why'd you want to do this? A few reasons. Um, I think I had a perception about people in jail, and I only had that perception from the outside looking in. So All I right. wanted to see what it'd be like, see if it changed my perception from being on the inside. So was this former college quarterback too confident for his own good? Yeah. Let's take a look at yeah. Dennis's journey. You ain't got no legs. You're a little cocky. You're kind of pretty. You're gonna go in a place with a bunch of rednecks. That attitude right there, they're gonna eat you alive. Chief Peak, that's not a tough person. That's a weak person. That's a soft person. That's the person I beat up. You know, if, if I'm allowed to, if I can fight him. What? I woke up. What? I ate breakfast, and I'm getting into it. I don't want to be a not on the log, just sitting there looking around. So. I just got right to it. Dennis is definitely not a five balls. No. Why? Oh, yeah, that's right. This is the first out? time they've seen it. <laughs> Here's to know what he do for a living. I guarantee he probably sit behind somebody's desk somewhere, work from home or something, sell insurance or something. <laughs> He's an interesting character. We talk a lot. Even Dennis legs look like parentheses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> Tony mad because... I ain't give him a soup and stow that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, you know what's going on with stow. <laughs> so, Dennis, what was it like watching it? It was actually pretty cool watching it, uh, pretty accurate. You think you were too cocky? No, that's just me, you know? And I won't change myself for nobody, so. Tony, we heard uh, what you thought about Dennis. You stand by what you said there? Yeah. He was not a pod boss. No. Nah. Dennis, what? I mean, I consider myself a pod boss, not in the sense where what? I'm threatening somebody or beating somebody up. That's that's not the case. Uh, but more so, I can walk anywhere in the jail and feel cool. Like a respect thing. Respect thing, yeah. Right, right. You want to tell Tony what you actually do for a living? Uh, so... <laughs> <laughs> Sell insurance. <laughs> I did get into that a little bit, but... <laughs> Yo, Tony's laugh, though, man, I love it. Did you have it out for him from the beginning? He was all about him as a one-man show. He didn't have the right to talk to me how you talk to me. You basically said at one point that, you know, you would beat up Chief Pete. Th at that moment, yeah. Do you still feel that Chief way? Chief looked like a damn bloated walrus, man. <laughs> Why did you move to a different pod? Yeah, I'm such a uh, a good guy. Let's make something real clear. 
We're expecting you to help. Don't us raise out. your voice at me. Understood. Understood. So, Just talk to me like a man. I'm making that a shirt, y'all. Good. I've been doing what I can to do to throw everybody off. This ain't some schoolyard, some college, or some football field. This is real life. So quit doing all this stupid <laughs> that you're doing. I don't need that. Don't raise your voice at me. <laughs> <laughs> you're in my building. Don't turn around anything on me because I promise you, I will walk you out the door right now and this will be over when done. Go in there, do what you're supposed to do, and do your job. Simple as that. <laughs> Look at Tony. Hang in there. That was before Tony like came on, right? Hard, yeah. Trust me. You're mine. <laughs> no, sir. Look. We can cut the camera off and we can have a real talk, but at the end of the day, yeah, the NTP is looking like a pumpkin. Don't try me. Oh, look at <laughs> from the jump. He don't like me. He's threatened by me, intimidated by me because he thought when I was gonna come in, he thought I was gonna do, gonna look at stop me it, and, you know, pounce stop him. it. But that ain't the case. This whole situation right here, like I can't, I can't deal with that. You're not gonna talk to me like that. I can't You're tell he did, like that. and you took it. We got a problem. We got a real problem. Uh oh. So? Uh oh. Like to watch that. Nah, that was that was pretty intense. I didn't I didn't appreciate that part, to be honest with you. You know, you would beat up Chief Peak if you could. Th at that moment, yeah. At, at you that still feel that way? No, not anymore. Stop you know, it, after man. Meeting with him, like debriefing and everything, he changed a lot, like in terms of just his personality towards me. But I don't feel that way now. Based on what all of you have just seen of uh -huh. Dennis, what do you make of this? Dispute. I thought it was a stupid decision for him to go to <laughs> go to Pod Six. Like, I, I, I don't, I don't know why he did that. Like, there were people talking about you for doing that, so I was more worried that like your cover was going to be blown because they were like, why would he go and be back six hours? <laughs> Not with later the horse legs. Pod? You so ain't why beat did nobody you leave up. The unit? It happened fast, man. Um, I it left. It does look like you were asking to leave. No, no, I knew it was a lot, a lot of drugs. I, when I hear about yeah, Dennis like, wanted six, to smoke. Um, he does. Literally, it was. That's where all the drugs is at from six. So Dennis, in the end, do you now maybe better understand where Chief Peak was coming from? Yes, but this is a new environment for me. I've never been in a place like that before, yep. right? So that was my you're way. All, you're all over commercials, that's why. Go around and talk to people. And by me doing Being that, a model I was able shit. to do Got the things that I was able to do towards the end. So I do understand that. I think that, you know, he wanted me to do it day one, right? Yep. Um, but it got done. Did she make mistakes that contributed to her cover being blown? Let's take a look. Oh, no. I don't want to. <laughs> right, you be you cry on the job? No. Is that what you do? Wow. What is she doing? Miss Williams oh, yeah, decided the dudes that don't she know would not that. allow us to sleep. Serious? She literally did that. She's banging yes. and banging on the walls. Yes. All night. Just taunting us as a group. I was hoping for clean clothes, but apparently we we're supposed to set our laundry bags out at night. So I stripped down to put my clothes outside. I had no underwear. I'm there and I'm naked. The wall like girl like an ostrich though. Said she was going to. I really have, I really have nothing. I was going this way. Her head was turning this but way. I was still like very much exposed. Miss Williams, please, you said you would come back. <laughs> I should. No, oh, stop. I have never seen a cop or a. Ashley, is she still in here? Violate somebody like we were violated. But I've been a police officer for six years. And I have never witnessed official oppression. And now I don't know how I'm going to be able to move forward and do my job. Do you feel like they know that you're a cop? I feel like it's been, it has been discussed, and I've been called the police multiple times. So the way I look at that, we're in an unsafe place. All right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull you out today. Hey, you got to go. She could have made it, though. And she just not... Ashley, how does it feel to... Acting like a police officer. She would have made it that. all the way through. Yo, what if she had came in for, like, phase two, though? So you think that Alex made a mistake by getting into the program? Right. With all of us sitting up here saying safety first, that was a mistake for him coming. Honestly, my personal opinion to you... You don't like that. Parents. You don't like that.
Alex, let's move on to your story. Oh, you went go. from living with your parents to living in jail. Right. Big change. A little bit, yeah. Um, <laughs> little bit. Goofball. Yeah, yeah. Dodgeball what champion, right? When you said to them, hey, I'm going to go to jail. They were like, well, I, I, think, that's a, I think that's the wrong decision. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why you would even want to do that. What did you want to prove to your parents by doing this? Just that I didn't have to call them to bail me out of everything, because I'm, I'm the first to admit that I grew up pretty privileged and uh, never had to ask for anything and relied on my parents for too much. Cutting a line pisses me off. It's such a blatant sign of disrespect. Yeah. That's why you're in jail. I can't do it. I ain't got no teeth, y'all. <laughs> like that on the streets. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> I got no teeth. Oh, I was trying to look like Alex. <laughs> Your parents was right. I've been four or five spots back up in line. I've seen Dennis come right in front of everybody, including me. He's definitely disrespecting me when he when he does that. 29, 29. Once an a-hole, always an a-hole. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, they clowning him. <laughs> this place is really is getting to me super hard. <laughs> you damn dweeb. <laughs> It's just, I just feel so far out of my element. And it seems like every day it's getting worse. I don't fit in. Coming to this jail, I, I feel like has like reopened a way. I keep wanting to call him Slim Jim. Of constantly worrying what other people think about me and how I'm perceived. It's regressing me to a point that I haven't really felt since. Well, he about to I cry. Was like a fat kid in like fourth, fifth grade where I like didn't him. have like friends or anything. <laughs> He's an RIP, Alex. Dark time of my life. I don't really talk about it. That's why I didn't bring it up before. I don't, I don't know who to be when I'm in here. Just like I didn't know who to be back then. Look at him. It's more than I feel Yo. like I, I can handle. So you're saying you want to? Yeah. <laughs> Even if I got along with Dennis, stop making them faces, man. Kind of do what I was going through, and I could I could be myself. But that didn't happen. So. Damn. So Alex, what's it like reliving that? Yeah, I didn't like watching that. <laughs> um, were you surprised at the way Dennis treated you? He didn't really treat me any any type of way for the for the most part. But well, the thing was, we we initially us four said we would not talk to each other going in. So I was trying to keep that agreement and kind of stay away and to protect myself and protect him as well. Um, I always had your back if anything was to happen. I always had my eye on you. I, I, I see now through the confessionals what you said that you probably did have my back. Dennis lying, but, um, man. I didn't feel that way while, while I was in right. there. But honestly, my personal opinion to you, listen to your parents. <laughs> so you think that Alex made a mistake by getting into the program right with all of us sitting up here saying safety first that was a mistake for him coming damn but when was my safety ever in jeopardy when was i ever in a situation where somebody was trying to fight me or trying to take my when they took that radio when of, it was trying to take the radio i'm tired of people saying that i was like you know in a dangerous situation or anything because nothing happened i didn't get it because you tapped out to piss me off. you tapped out <laughs> all of us sitting up here saying safety first that was a mistake for him coming but when was my safety ever in jeopardy? When was I ever in a situation Call him out. where somebody Call was him out. trying to fight me or trying to take my because that never happened? And I'm tired of people saying that I was like, you know, in a dangerous situation or anything because nothing happened. Why'd you tap out? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, let him finish. So I'm tired of it. Everyone trying to appear like it was this way or what way because I never was in any drama or anything. Like you said, I did do a lot of the laps and but I wasn't. I don't think people are saying that, you know, you're going to get stabbed or you're going to get jumped. I don't I don't think people are saying that directly. But, however, I know if I can go in there and do what I did, I know for a fact there's people just as big and bad as I am who can take advantage of you extremely easy. You're the type of person that they're going to go into your room and take and your rob stuff. you. Yeah, take they, that when peanut I butter. In, it was like, yo, don't really, we stick together, right? But we're going to go and tack the little 
white boys. You right. get what I'm saying? That's what he's trying to say. And so, this is like, like not being in any danger. Like, no, it never happened. I'm trying to get pissed. Yeah, you're right. Nothing happened. What are you going to do you about didn't it? You didn't really go try to buy any dope. You Nothing. Some clone, but you didn't try to go buy any. Because you probably would have got your ass whipped. That's just the truth. Oh. Because you don't know how to oh, communicate shit, Mike on phone. that level. No, it's not bad not to be from that element. But I'm also not going to parachute out over Iraq if all I've been is in damn Cub Scouts. You know what I'm saying? So there's the difference. Alex, you're a good, you're a good, pure Yo, person. Yo, they straight right. clowning and him. That's, that's what we're, we're right. trying to get at. And you got to have a little bit of an attitude and a little bit of badness to you to even yeah. make it through one day, let alone how long were you in there for? Three weeks? Four weeks? Three, three and a half. That's a long time for being in jail. And you did that. You ashamed you didn't last longer? In the moment I was, but at this point, I would say to anybody who tries to knock it, come and try it. Mm -hmm. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sheriff and uh, Chief, were you disappointed mm -hmm. when Matt tapped out? <laughs> disappointed, <laughs> yes. Because he came in there with a good positive attitude. But That's what David said last season. Right, when you go to jail, you ain't going to make it. Matt, with the time now that you've had, if you could do this again, would you do it? Nah. Nah. So you wish Get him you just off my it, TV, man. man. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll be watching you guys right now, not yeah. up here. <laughs> yeah, get, off, get off TV, man. I wanted to beat the brakes off of you because I would tell you that I'm very strong. But don't talk about me behind my back because I don't do fake bitches. I don't. Oh. oh, okay. There's another participant who made 60 days in history, not for necessarily... Oh, this guy. He didn't right even make it past watch. intake. <laughs> I didn't sleep too well last night. What anxiety. The anxiety left now. Chicano, yeah. Right now, yeah. I'm still very nervous. I, I think anybody that's going to jail that's never actually done jail time is going to Exactly. Be Who is he? For me to tap out. Nobody it's remembers take you. To the body. <laughs> yeah, totally. It's going to be a lot harder than I thought. Yes. That's what I should call him. 60 seconds in. <laughs> Jacob, what's, what's it like to, Not to watch 60 that days in, 60 seconds. I feel like I was a completely <laughs> different person at that time. Oh. You know, I'm, I'm a lot more confident now, uh, but I'm still very, very ashamed of myself, regardless. Tony, you couldn't believe it. You said, wait a second. Gone in 60 signal, seconds. Thinking that it wasn't really that. Right, right. You tapped out an intake, you already knew you, that wasn't for you. You didn't even make it into the pod, so mentally, you going in, you was already defeated, I feel. And that, that could have been a spot for, or opportunity for someone else. Truth hurts, don't get mad. So, right. so the whole tapping out thing, I, I'll, I'll never down anyone for tapping out. However, you know, in your specific case, you tapped out an intake, come on, bro. Yeah. I was in there with you, Jacob. Yeah. And I knew yeah, they about to go I in on him. I was shocked. As a corrections officer, you knew what a prison looks like. You knew what a jail looks like. Yeah. Was there something of that intake that surprised you that was worse than you expected? Uh, I mean, no, honestly. I think a lot of it was the cover story. I wasn't very comfortable with that. Worried someone's gonna sniff that out. And the last thing I want is, is for this dude to get hurt. I, I didn't want you to get hurt. I didn't want you to get hurt. Uh, if I blow the story, it could it could possibly get somebody hurt. What does that got to do with you, though? I never seen it as, any of this comments um, from Matt or Jacob. I thought Alex would be the first one to do so. That's but what I thought, Alex, too, dodgeball champion. Strong. Um, Pops out much 60 the pod seconds. Boss by the time I left. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Jennifer and I were not friends. I don't become friends with people in 24 to 48 hours. I can't tell you can't talk to her. Is originally, I wanted to beat the brakes off of you because I would tell you that I'm very strong. But Jen that's not how I operate. Though. After I got out and I thought about it, I said, I shouldn't fault you. I gave you something that you didn't deserve, which was my trust. She nervous. As far as my health, Research celiac disease. I knew what I was doing when I got in here, and I know that there are people that are locked up every day that have the same thing that I do. My purpose and point of coming here was to help. Death fight. Wow, wow. I felt like I brought awareness. Wow. Jennifer, why were you so critical of Shanice? It's not the health problems. It's the consistent go in and smack her, man. What? I'm an intolerant person, and I don't want to hear it, you know? And, and like she said, we weren't friends, and there were other things that irritated me um, to, to think that you would even approach me in a way to fight is hilarious to me. I'm actually quite surprised that Damn. she would even feel like she would win, maybe. It is not a feeling, it's no. What do you make of the fact that she referred to you as a fake Christian? It doesn't bother me. I mean, 
She doesn't know me well Yo, enough Jen to is be like able to determine whether calm, like cool, my and collected. lifestyle is that which I She ain't worried and, about you know, Sideshow Bob. I never said she was a fake Christian. What I said was people are going to assume that she's a fake Christian. Jennifer, as she said herself, was more on her mission than the mission of 60 Days In. I see Dennis nodding. Do, do you agree with that? Uh, my, my whole thing was... Who cares I mean, what Dennis got to say? In terms of asking how she how she felt, like, how you feel today? Like, like you know? It had hey, nothing to do with him. Did y'all get her? Y'all didn't get her food together. Y'all didn't get it right. Like, help her. At the end of the day, Shanice was hungry and she was angry. Jennifer was tired and she was angry. Our emotions were so high. We had been being essentially emotionally abused for weeks at that point. So we're hungry, dirty, tired, annoyed. Brian. I understand both of them for being upset because it is a high stress environment and a little thing becomes a big thing very fast. What all of you did not know is that after you left, Sheriff Horton decided to put a new group of participants into the jail for a second phase of the program. Wait, what? Tony, why did you doubt Mark? I was right, right. Before we ever even met, you're sizing me up because you wanted to say something. He was he right, though. Help. He was trying to help no, you. No, no, no. That's not what it was. Just be lucky you weren't in our pocket. You'd only lasted one day. Damn. Do y'all have fights in your jail? Yes, but my staff stops them. We don't wait for the inmates to stop. <laughs> There's a lot of things that Tony did that I kind of questioned. Did he take it too far? Tony, you think you went too far? No, not at all. Mm. I could have done more. You know people have mental health issues, they have drug issues, and I almost feel like you were adding to that. I'm a real person, so you ask me if, I, if that bothered me, no, it doesn't. Jail is going to bring out the worst in you. Mm -hmm. Things in you that you never thought was there. It's going to bring it out. Yo! <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, boy. Oh, no. 